As an example, my boy Chance Warmack, big old gut hanging out and everything. What is up, everybody? It is Jake back with the MF Film Room. Thank you so much for being here. If you want to be up to date on all things EA College Football, hit that red subscribe button right now. Do it, okay? Hit it, click on it right now. Look, lightly click it if that makes it easier for it. Also, hit the like button as well, and follow me on Twitter slash X. That fam is growing. If you like college football content, go follow Master Football with Jake Posey. It is linked in the description. This is my other channel. But enough about all that. EA College Football content, let's go. All right, guys, here we are. It is March 1st. I'm posting this on March 2nd, but March 1st, we... We had the official trailer in February. Everybody went crazy for it. Then we had a couple of releases there. It got a little crazy there. I mean, we had the game that was being announced. Teams were saying they're in the game. The Senior Bowl was saying they're in the game. Uh, we got announcers saying they're in the game. Multiple sets of announcers in the game. Again, there's lots of cool things coming in that regard. However, I thought, okay, well, we're probably going to get a dead period up until May when the full reveal happens. Unfortunately, they've been kind of trickling things here in there. Whether or not these things are, and I want to make sure I'm clear about this, whether or not these things are fully confirmed or not, we don't know at this point. However, there's a couple things here that we would have a strong inclination that they would be included. There's two tweets we're going to go out that went out yesterday, March 1st, within two minutes of each other. Coincidence? I think not, considering the fact that both of them are actually competitors. So the first one here is from Shut Sports. It says, we're in the game at EA College Football. That shut right there is the F72.0. In addition to them, like I said, this is at 12, 10 p.m. Mountain Standard Time on March 1st. Two minutes before that, we got Vicus or Vicus. I don't really know how to pronounce the name. But anyways, the O2 and then the O2T. So you got right there. Look at the, the O2, the O2T. Vic, Vicus, we're in the game. Again, within two minutes of each other. Coincidence? I do not think so. Let's check out these helmets, by the way. So the first one there was the F7 2.0 was the shut here. I mean, these helmets are so damn cool here. So this was the first one here. Let me look at this price tag. God damn. But anyways, this was the first one that came out. Just specifically the helmet, not necessarily the face mask, but the helmet. And then we have the Vicus or Vicus. And again, I don't know how to pronounce it. We have the 02, which is this first one here. And then for any of you who are fans of George Kittle of the San Francisco 49ers, you will definitely understand this next helmet. This is the Vicus Adult 02 Elite. You see what says that here, the 02T, which is code for trench. See what's got this big brow, this big strong. I mean, if you've ever seen like a dude who's, you know, who looks like a Neanderthal, it's got this Neanderthal front here to make sure that whenever you hit somebody in the face or whatever, you're going to be protected in that instance. Again, they're trying to protect people out there. Those two helmets, rumored, or at least they're indicating, and again, whether or not it happens or not, I don't know, but I am saying though, within two minutes of each other on the same day, competitors in the same market. Huh. So all this gear conversation has me thinking about a couple things here because there's a lot of things that have happened since EA call or NCAA football 2014, which by the way, I'm still playing at this point, NCAA football 2014 up until now, there's a lot of gear changes and things that have been happening, things that have been kind of moving throughout the world of college football. I want to go through a couple of those because I'm telling you, I think that there's a couple things, like I said, we go, went over those helmets. There's a couple other things that will be really, really cool to be included in this game. We're going to speculate a little bit here, but I'm telling you, I would be surprised if more than half of these ideas are in the game. Let's go. The first one here, and again, this is an easy one here. Everybody remembers you can have a neck roll in the game. And neck rolls are kind of old technology, but they still serve their purpose. We're not talking about neck rolls. We're to, and I had to use my boy Leighton Van Der Esch from Boise State, the cowboy collar. The cowboy collar specifically designed to protect your neck from moving back those jolts from the hits. To, I mean, it's the cowboy collar is definitely used by somebody who either has neck problems, which, by the way, Leighton Van Der Esch does have some neck problems. And it's also used by people who just, their face, they get involved in a lot of tackles. Cowboy collars aren't a receiver type gear, but again, you can see this out here as an example. Like I bet, I bet the game is going to have this for sure in EA College Football in July when it comes out. The next one, which is so underrated, this was not available in NCAA Football 2014, but the shooter sleeve. Now I know a lot of people say, ah, oh, shooter sleeves, I should, the shooters are for in the NBA, blah, blah, blah. I don't know what it is about shooter sleeves. The fact that it's either short here or it's not connected here. It's not a long sleeve shirt. It's just a really, really cool look. I don't understand why. I just go with what's cool. Shooter sleeves going to be in the game more than likely. 
Now, this is speculation zone, speculation zone, but I'm telling you right now, think about this. Remember what I said right here? I said NCAA 2014. Now we're talking about EA College Football 2025, which is rumored to be what the title is going to be. Notice how the second title didn't have NCAA in it. Well, if that's true, now again, what that means is that the NCAA and their rules and regulations is no longer involved in the game. So the game has... They're kind of policing themselves, or, or maybe CLC is the one who's going to be policing what's in and, in and not in the game. So with that, you're looking at this, you're like, well, there's a couple of things that are actually banned in college football, but they were still so cool at the time of them coming out. And one of them, the most famous one, is this Miami Hurricanes visor that was has green and orange tint to it it was so cool here's my boy sean taylor showing i mean that is the one of the coolest uh, look at that that was eventually banned and again because most uh visors that were not clear were banned now the rule on that is actually kind of interesting so come over here to greengridiron.com it talks about is that visor legal and it basically says well it uh it depends the big thing that it depends on is it wants to make sure that it's 100% clear. By clear, they said that you can even have a 20% smoke, meaning only 20% light on, shown on that visor would make it through and 80% of the light is blocked. By this definition, 100% simply means that 100% of the light gets through. So basically, it's just not an opaque surface. Whether or not that Miami Hurricanes won, I mean, I think that the light got through there, but... Basically, you see the fact that they, they they drew the line. You can't have these visors. Again, NCAA is not involved. CLC is the one who's kind of running the thing. CLC is representing 120 plus universities. But I'm not saying it's going to be in the game. But what if it was? This is such a cool look. Speaking of uh, a band, I, and I'm going to bring up a picture of Sean Oakman here. I know that unfortunately he actually got the charges against him were dropped. I want to make sure that we're clear about that. But again, thinking about this one, the first thing we're talking about is this face mask. If these face masks are in the game, I mean, just specifically this one right here, not necessarily the reflectiveness of the Baylor helmet, but this face mask right here, if this is in the game, that is going to be awesome. But you also see the fact that he's got his shirt pulled up. This is the famous meme where it's like, oh, heads or tails. And he's like, we'll take the ball. Okay, sir. Because you just scared the hell out of the guy. We see the fact that's going to be a thing. We also see the fact this was a Zeke thing. Again, I thought that this was a thing that wasn't going to be in the game. I was like, there's no way he actually did that on the field. That is Eddie Jackson. And that is Zeke Elliott. And that is the national, that is the semifinals that they played that they won that game. Ohio State did. They're, I'm just saying, it's not necessarily going to be a thing. However, I think it could be a thing. Remember, they don't have to appease the NCAA at this point. And we know, as an example, my boy Chance Warmack, big old gut hanging out and everything. Again, is this going to be in the game? Probably not. But it would be a really cool addition if it was. I'm just saying. And last but not least, one thing that I think that the hardcores would recognize here, that the non-hardcores would not. We saw these pictures here and there. We saw all this stuff. There's something here on this picture. There's one logo to give it away that was not there before. I know people say, oh, the Big Ten logo was updated. Yeah, that's actually technically true. But there's another logo that was not on the previous game that now is. Remember, on the previous game, there was uh, Nike, there's Adidas, there's Under Armour. I believe there was also Russell. There was a couple Russells out there. There's a couple jerseys like that. But there's a new player in town that's actually making jerseys out there. I know Oklahoma. I know we have uh, Florida as an example. And then the most famous example is your national champion, your reigning national champion, the Michigan Wolverines with the jump man out there. Now, a really cool question to ask about that is, if this is in the game, and it's going to be game, there's literally a picture of it right there. If it's going to be in the game, is this going to be something that if, and again, this is a big if, if we have a creative team, could you be like, okay, I want them to be sponsored by Nike. I want to be sponsored by Adidas. I want to be sponsored by Riddell. I want to be sponsored by Russell. I want to be sponsored by Jordan. Whatever it is, can you choose that? I don't know, but I do know if we have what we what Matt Brown says we have. And then Matt Brown says none of this is officially confirmed. We won't really get that until either EA says it or probably until May when they say it anyway. Up until Matt Brown confirms that, or you know, excuse me, up until EA confirms that, probably through Matt Brown, he's basically said these things could be in, they could be not. We don't really know. But if it is, Matt Brown had said himself. That this community is a bunch of EA or is a bunch of college football sickos. College football sickos are going to look at every little tiny detail here and there to make sure they can have it as close as possible. Team builder with the ability to select your sponsor. Hey, hint, hint, wink, wink. Just saying. Just saying.
We've gotten a lot so far, okay? We've gotten the announcers who are going to be in the game. We had a rumor that the Senior Bowl was going to be the game. Again, we're not 100% sure on that one. And now we see those two helmet companies, Vickis and Shut, confirming that they are going to be in the game. Whether or not it's official or not, we don't know. Again, because people have just been throwing it out there. We've had FCS teams throw it out there. But we talked about some of the other gear that wasn't an NCAA 14 that could be in there. We got shooter sleeves, cowboy collars, could potentially have tinted visors. There's lots of cool things that could be in there. Are we going to have a Zeke Elliott or a Chance Wormack gut showing? I'm telling you, the gear in this game is good. It's going to take me two hours to edit my team when I, when I create my team or start off with my team. It's because there's just going to be so much to do. All right, guys, get in the comments right now. Let me know what you guys think about all of that. Which other helmets, what other gear, what would you want to see? You guys let me know. And remember, please like, share, comment, subscribe. Do all that stuff. I really appreciate it. So for me, guys, I'll see you guys later. I am out.